Sponsors over the years, vendors in the HTUC have established networks and parties that are under registered members. The significance of these networks should not be underestimated, however, work still remains to be done. Lower Union GPS has taken great strides nationally in the development of these networks, as each of the chances are going to be issued. We have heard over the past few days of hunger, how our disabled colleagues are discriminated against, but so also are our LGBT colleagues. Equality in all its dimensions should be a priority for public sector unions and the SCUC. Now don't get me wrong, we have come a long way on equality issues, but we need to go that bit further. In the name of equality, we should be taking equal treatment and fairness across all the types of characteristics. PCS are therefore calling for an SCUC LGBT committee and function to be established for the LGBT members which will help to highlight specific issues, barriers and prejudices faced by our members. The LGBT party will also provide essential member-led input to the SCUC on its campaign, education, legal work, political and international activities, information, advice and guidance. This committee would also provide the SCUC with high-profile LGBT role models and central contacts. This, of course, should lead to greater cohesion and networking with LGBT people on activities of mutual benefit within the workplace and the wider society. The SCUC has supported LGBT people in Scotland for many years without a form of structure. However, the support has tended to be around single issues. The Equality Network has been outstanding in representing LGBT people, but there has been a lack of union input with no form of platform for union. Statistics obtained through the people of information highlight that hate crime against LGBT people in Scotland has risen fivefold in the past five years. Reports of violent attacks, indecent assaults, abuse and vandalism against people because of their sexual orientation is worryingly high. The legislative battle continues to progress. Meanwhile, it's crucial that LGBT union members have a voice in our structures. The Scottish Parliament has a powerful list of bans on same-sex couples marrying in Scotland. An LGBT priority in the 2011 Scottish election is equal marriage rights. The list then manifests the pledges to introduce marriage equality where Labour and the SNP commit to consultation on civil partnership and marriage. Meanwhile, the Conservatives have no LGBT equality pledges. The Green Party has pledged to not only introduce legislation for equal marriage and allow the religious delegates to conduct civil partnerships, but also to open dialogue with men at Westminster on the need for cross border recognition of relationships on the basis of equality. Let us continue to improve our networks and committees throughout the trade union movement. We are seeking consistency in Scotland in line with the TUC equality structures of regulatory. Especially where the TUC annual LGBT conference is held to coincide with Plumpus Trials. It would be remiss of me not to offer the General Council the support and assistance of TCS in setting up the STUC LGBT Committee and Conference. After all, as three juniors, we're all in this together. Thank you. Thank you. Um, going to the CWU to section 478. Um, Congress, the very, very pleased for the PCS colleagues in this eminently sensible proposal. Our regional committee has long standing policy calling for an SUC LGBT committee because it's going to start an exchange with the SUC for students' objective. We congratulate the SUC and organize the event last year and also the recent meeting. Um, which was said to follow up in that event. Um, they recognise that there may be in general procedures and processes and further no changes required to set up an LGBT committee, but a commitment to do so will be warmly welcomed by our union, and on that basis, we're very happy to set the proposition.
Pastor General Council. Thank you, President Congress. The General Council fully supports the intention of this motion and is asking for Congress to support it. However, the General Council would be helpful just to say how, how it would intend to implement the proposal to establish an SDC LGBT Council and Committee should the motion be passed this afternoon. The motion calls for the establishment of an LGBT Committee this year prior to a conference being held in 2012. Congress, the General Council's view is that any LGBT structure the FTC should be found in the same principles of democracy and accountability to our affiliates, but underpinning structures of our other representative groups and indeed the General Council itself. And that is that the committee should be elected by affiliates at a conference and not appointed by the General Council. Now, if this motion is passed, the General Council will establish a small LGBT advisory committee later in the year consisting of general council members and nominees from affiliates. The role of that committee will that advisory committee will be to draft a constitution and to make arrangements for a conference to be held during 2012, at which the LGBT committee will then be elected. So I hope this clarification on the procedure proposed by the General Council to achieve the objective of the motion, uh, the Congress will support uh, the motion uh, motion 78. Thank you. Congress unison of delighted to support this motion as we have a history of supporting LGBT rights. LGBT members in unison organise locally and nationally to support each other, to identify and challenge discrimination, to increase awareness of LGBT rights and to campaign for change. The activism of LGBT members in unison has had many rewards for our members. Through our involvement with organisations such as Elder Europe and Elder World, we have caused lunch with our three unions throughout the world and we will be honoured to campaign against injustice and prejudice which some of those colleagues have suffered. Sometimes the countries where we can receive the death sentence just for being gay or where in some countries we think that they can cure lesbians by raping them. Closer to home, we have campaigned against Section 28 for certain partnerships and we are proud that Unison played a major role in gaining the Equality Act, which even as we speak is being deliberately dismantled by the current government. LGBT workers face harassment and discrimination on a daily basis, and that's hard to deal with on your own. Many LGBT trade union members wouldn't be out. You may not know any of them, but be assured they do exist. Even the current government estimates that 6% of the adult population is LGBT. <coughs> Trade unions exist to improve the working lives of our members. If you look at the STUC's website, it tells us that our representative structures ensure we can speak with authority for the interests of women workers, black workers, young workers and other groups of trade unionists that otherwise suffer discrimination in the workplace and in society. A small but significant percentage of those members will be LGBT members. And that's why we cannot understand why the SDUC doesn't yet make provision for LGBT people in the way that it does for women, black and ethnic minority members and disabled members. We don't want to be just another group of workers. We want to be recognised as a legitimate equality group and have the same opportunities as the others. And in that sense, we welcome the general secretaries. Statement. If you do carry this motion, which I'm sure you will, um, Unison will be more than happy to do what it can to be an active part in the setting up of the group. Please support. President, Congress, Jane Douglas, Unite. I'm proud to be speaking in support of this motion. Congress, this motion is a much needed piece of the jigsaw that will help to complete the bigger picture. By allowing LGBT members in all our unions to take full part in STUC business. I am proud to be the chair of the United Regional LGBT Committee and a member of our national committee. This year I will also be privileged to be part of the TUC LGBT Committee. Yesterday, on behalf of the 
make a two-part and religious project by short racism for red cars, which is now looking at tackling homophobia in football. It was a pleasure to talk on the subject alongside Tony Higgins and Tego Lee. And I even got to mention some Johnson. On the <laughs> However, <laughs> by setting up an SDUC LGBT committee, you are allowed to join into the focus organisations. <laughs> this will allow us to build up a better way for our LGBT members, many of whom will be targeted by the condemned cuts. It will also allow us to join together to continue to deliver respect, dignity, equality, and justice, not only in the workplace but in the community and the global world. In it together, well, on this motion, we are. Please support. Can I have a chance to get the conference all those in favour, please show. Thank you. Any against? Any abstentions? That carried unanimously. Thank you, Paul. Hey! Thank you.